And welcome back. Uh, something very special now for all our viewers right around Australia because we have the gold and silver medalists from White Ring. What a marvellous program it was and what a marvellous night it was. And now the Russians are with us and this is fantastic news. Tamara Moskvina is yes. their coach. Yes. Tamara, welcome Tamara. to you. Thank you. And your gold medalists, Artu, Dmitriev, Oksana, Oksana Kazakova. Yes. And your silver medalist? Yelena Berezhnaya, Anton Sikharulidze. You must be very, very proud. I am, and I am very proud. And stick that chest <laughs> out. Tell me, do you have a favourite pair? How difficult is it for you when you have two wonderful pairs together? Uh, in a way, it's very difficult. In a way, it's very easy. They support each other, they uh, teach each other, and... Uh, I try just to be different, uh, to have their program different, music different, that's all. After you saw, and I'll ask Anton and Elena too, after you saw their performance last night and you then had to go to R2, what, what did you think for Anton and Elena? Uh, I thought they, they could do better. They did before better, but they could do better. So I uh, quickly ran to uh, Oksana and uh, Artur and try to encourage them for their performance. You gave us a wonderful routine, Anton. I guess the disappointment was the end. It's... I don't know what is it. It's just... A nightmare. Nothing. <laughs> it happens yeah. with everybody. I mean, it does happen, doesn't it? It's a bit of disappointment, but it's something you'll get over. How did you two come together as a pair? Mm, oh, it's a long story. Well, know. we've got a few minutes in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> we're skating uh, with different partners. Yes. And uh, we're skating in one city in St. Petersburg. We're, and uh, Elena skating with um, Tamara. She was coaching. And I uh, skating with another coach. And uh, in one day, we talk with Elena speak and bingo yeah yes bingo, bingo. and uh, ask tamara Tam maybe uh, do you want to pick up us and we want to skate and can pair together that's all fantastic yelena after you had your accident were there times when you thought i'll never skate again no i never thought like that <laughs> you always thought you'd skate again yes. um, I thought I will skate again, and I'll skate. <laughs> no. it's, a, it's a wonderful comeback, isn't it? Yes. Uh, two, what about you? You have now have two gold medals, a silver medal, a wonderfully decorated athlete. Did one gold medal give you more of a thrill than the other? You know, it's a completely different uh, medal because it's diff different time. Uh, but different partner yeah of course it's different yeah. partner. but I think the last medal a little bit more heavy than medal before what do you mean heavy heavy I mean the job the work harder job yeah yeah not because of Oksana not because of Oksana. I mean for me you right. ask me yeah I talk about you know uh, it's difficult more difficult for me because uh, when I start with Oksana, we start from, you know... Like from scratch. Yeah. yeah. Oksana, it must have been a great thrill for you, though, to, to become paired up with a man who'd won a gold medal and a silver medal. And now you've got one of your own. We have them here. But I think after, after time, uh, are two very easy people. <laughs> are two uh, uh, easy men to work yeah, with. It's a, yeah. I think it's easy. This is for your medal, I think. Yeah. yeah. Now, no. Tamara, when are you going to bring them to Australia? As soon as possible as we get invitation to visit your such lovely, far distant green country. We I have never been there and I... You can see all those sheeps. Yes, I would like to see your ships and maybe to have a coat made of them. A coat? Yes. Yes, well, we could possibly do that. Um, I want to ask you one thing. What? What's he saying now? 
She told me, good morning. Good morning? Yes. <laughs> Why is the sport, and is it still as strong after the Soviet breakdown? How have things changed for your athletes in your country? Uh, after the country fell apart. Yes. Uh, it was started to be very difficult to do sport for the younger people, but for the elite, uh, they still survive because coaches work, skaters try to find resources for their uh, improvement. Uh, they compete in different competitions where they get prize money. And uh, truthfully speaking, we continue to keep tradition. We continue to work as we did it before. That's why the elite sport continue to survive and improve and i hope that on such uh, using this tradition the grassroots sport will also start uh, going up soon uh, russians are very powerful people and they can survive in any circumstances that's why i am very positive about the future of uh, uh, figure skating uh, present time, present uh, uh, position of figure skating in Russia is very good. Now has Tamara got some more pairs hidden away somewhere that we're going to see come out and uh, maybe to Australia come uh, out and be really strong? Maybe, really I don't teach any more pairs these are only my pupils but uh, we have a hidden school in St. Petersburg where my husband uh, Igor Moskvin is preparing junior couple that uh, is my come for the junior worlds and uh, those people uh, those young couple takes good example from this silver and gold medalist and i hope they will do well tradition 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 sound like an australian there yes. uh two, what about your future two gold one silver medal where do you go from here let me think a little bit uh i think i need a uh, time for, for for decision because now of course we are happy but we are tired and we are just relaxed I can um, decide now something but uh, of course we plan skating pro and maybe we still uh, skating in amateur some uh, sometime sure and what about Anton and Yelena you're still we, very still young. Skating, yeah. Your future all mapped out. You put aside this disappointment and go on. Of course, young people, uh, they never pay attention too much for the disappointment. And uh, we are brought up that uh, uh, nothing can, uh, uh, can disappoint us. We always go, uh, go forward with the optimistic look. One thing I must ask you, after that Soviet breakdown, a lot of Russian coaches went to America and other countries to pick up their coaching careers. Did you ever think of going to America or somewhere else? Sometimes, you as a coach? Sometimes we go for a week, for a month, but uh, right now the circumstances and conditions in our uh, St. Petersburg, in our Palace of Sport Jubilee are good enough to produce gold and silver of the olympics yeah. well it's a fantastic story you must feel so proud yes we are to have gold and silver it's a, it's a wonderful achievement was there any celebrating you're allowed to have vodka no. unfortunately no? we didn't bring we oh didn't, you're tough we didn't bring vodka we brought we buy vodka we don't need we had champagne champagne Cham is a drink of victory Oh, fantastic. Well, congratulations to you all. Thanks. I think all of us in the studio would like to put their hands together. It's a wonderful achievement. And you are all welcome. You are all welcome in Australia anytime. Uh, if we uh, will try uh, maybe your Australian vodka, then maybe you will come. Oh, well, we can have a beer, but I've got something okay. else for you. You know, we were talking about sheep. Sheep? Sheep. Sheep make wool, and we'd like to give you five sheep in jumpers. All right, there you are. Each one, there's five. Oh, <laughs> there's a little lamb. I think we better take a break. We'll be back to the wool shed shortly. But thank them all very much. That's fantastic.